now the search for a woman who hasn't been seen in nearly three weeks is picking back up after a possible new clue was discovered in the case. Osceola County Sheriff's deputies say that they now have new videos showing Paula Miranda Rosa swimming at Rakiva Springs. News 6's Mark Lehman is following the latest on the search efforts. We've been finding flyers for Miranda Rosa down these trails here behind me where there are difficult areas to reach unless you're on foot. The Osceola County Sheriff's Office bringing in specialized equipment in hopes of finding any sign of the missing woman. You know, if she did go into this area in the water, hopefully it'll shed some light to where she's at. Osceola County Sheriff Marcos Lopez joining a team of eight Marine trained deputies at Wakawa Springs State Park. The search for missing 31 year old Paola Miranda Rosa coming to this spot after video taken by hikers December 18th shows her waiting in the water. Um, you know, it's just the last known sighting of her being alive, walking into that area. Lopez says he's hoping she walked out safely, but if not, this underwater camera system will help see into hard to reach areas of the Wakaiva River. We'll take this pontoon boat, go over about halfway in there, and take the camera system and scour it and turn it and look and have. Deputies plan on searching nearly five miles of water. It's been nearly three weeks since Miranda Rosa was last seen by her family in her car found at the park. They say she suffers from schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. The sheriff saying foul play isn't suspected and hopes this search will yield clues about what happened. It's the right thing to do so we can see if we can shed some light and get some closure to this family. And with the difficulties in this search, the sheriff says he expects to be out here for a good part of the day. We will keep you updated with any new details as we get them. At Wakaiwa Springs State Park, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.